After Iran announced the appearance of a hypersonic missile in the country's arsenal, claiming it to be superior to the Russian Kinzhal and Zircon missiles, the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps demonstrated its testing. The released video, with a lot of computer graphics, captured the launch of a missile, visually similar to the Fateh-110 and Zalfagar-based missiles. It is worth noting that these missiles are derived from the Soviet Luna M missile. The Zalfagar is a longer range, 700 km, upgraded version of the Fateh-110. It's 1.5 meters longer than the Fateh-110 and features improved solid propellant rocket motors. Its hull is lighter because of the use of composites. The Zalfagar is more accurate than the Fateh-110 because it uses an imaging infrared ear, seeker for terminal guidance. The Fateh-110 is a 300-kilometer range, non-containerized solid propellant missile mounted on a vehicle. Non-containerized missiles must be stored in a special facility close to the launch point. The missile reportedly uses a combination of inertial and satellite navigation to reach its target area. A missile variant has passive radar homing to target emitting air defense and missile guidance radars. Meanwhile the new missile launch is ground-based, and the missile itself consists of two stages equipped with, according to the statement, solid fuel engines. Separately, Iran demonstrated the operation of the second stage engine on a test stand, showcasing its vector thrust capability. This feature is crucial for maneuverability. The claimed maximum speed of the missile is stated to be 13 to 15 Mach, surpassing the capabilities of the Russian Kinzhal, declared at 12 Mach, and Zircon, declared at approximately 9 Mach. It is important to note that this speed is achieved under the conditions of a ground launch, according to the statements of Iran, whose weaponry competes globally in terms of analogical similarities only with models from Russia and North Korea. The missile has already been designated as a target for Israel, with reports stating that its flight time is only 400 seconds. Additionally, the missile has a maximum range of 1400 km. Indeed, it is stated that the missile, with its speed and maneuverable warhead, can hit any missile defense system. Moreover, it is highly likely that Russia has been involved in the development of the missile. The matter lies in the challenging aspects of materials capable of withstanding high and prolonged temperature loads associated with flight speeds of 13 to 15 Mach. Similarly, high-performance solid fuel, as well as the miniaturization of guidance systems and vector thrust control, pose technical difficulties. Considering the extensive military cooperation between Russia and Iran in various projects, the source of these technologies seems quite evident.